the other question I have is, um, how do you successfully launch a book? Yeah, it's uh, so so. There's there's a couple of things I look at um, when I um, when I think about this, and it's, you see me keep looking at the book. It's like this thing about having new concepts <laughs> and curriculum and stuff. You're like, all right, I need to pull out this book real quick. Mate, um, I, we so, all have we all have cheat sheets. It's <laughs> so there's there's pre launch there's pre launch prep then there's launch week, then there's selling books after the launch. And so I'll drill into the actual launch, but just with the caveat of, I talk about this concept of the one-year launch. And I, I, I think too many people follow um, what I call the Lamborghini launch. And so if you know anything about Lamborghinis, they're, they're fast, they're sexy, they use up a lot of fuel, but they're going in a flash, right? And so people focus on launch week and they want to be flashy and all this stuff. And then the book just vanishes and it, doesn't sell. Right. And so instead of that, I recommend taking the Toyota Camry approach with your book, which, you know, Toyota Camry just keep going and going and going. Uh, and so that how can you set up your book to sell books long term and not just during launch week? And so specifically how I look at this is um, I call it the launch triangle. Um, but in uh, uh, the launch triangle, it's kind of the three essentials you need to use um, to launch your book. So um, number one is a launch team. This is a small group of people that support your book, right? Or support you or the topic of your book. Could be 15 people. It could be 50 people. Um, as the time of recording this interview, I'm kind of wrapping up the launch of the newest book. And I had about 150 people on that launch team. Um, and so you got a launch team. These folks read the book ahead of time and leave a review on day one. So now all of a sudden you've got five, 15, 50 reviews right out of the gates, um, and they get a free copy of the book and, you know, a, a bunch of stuff like that. But that's a launch team. If you do nothing else, just do that. You're going to launch with more momentum, more reviews um, and all that stuff. So that's um, number one. Number two, I've kind of already alluded to this is reviews. And so getting as many reviews as possible during launch week. And this this involves one on one outreach and follow up. Mm -hmm. And then number three uh, is promotions. And this is where, you know, this is kind of an accordion where depending on your time, the time that you have, the budget that you have, how far out from the launch, your resources, all that stuff, it can be, you know, we've got two launches that I talk about in the book. There's the MVP launch, so the minimum viable product launch, then then there's the traditional launch. And it's really, it's really just a spectrum, right? And so somewhere on that spectrum, depending on your time, resources, and all that stuff, um, will be the scale of promotions that you do. And so there's a lot of fundamental promotions um, kind of regardless, but um, that that that's the overarching thing. And then I think of how do I turn these one-off promotions into evergreen assets and create as many assets as possible um, that will sell books long-term. I mean, you're great at this, Jeff. I've, uh, I've learned a lot of this from you, which is just like content and SEO is assets, mm. right? And then that content then continues to rank, continues to get traffic, continues to bring in books. So it's like a bunch of stuff like this podcast interview, for example, this is why I'm prioritizing podcast interviews as part of the launch is this podcast interview will live hopefully forever, right? And then so now months from now, years from now, someone's listening to this uh, and saying, hey, this sounds interesting. I want to grab Chandler's book. And so it's, it's just creating long-term assets through one-off promotions. Mm -hmm.